This is the second Republican congressman from the state of Pennsylvania that has gotten into hot water uh, after uh, now comes out word of, uh, now in this case, uh, Bra uh, Pat Meehan uh, of going, uh, I guess, having feelings, Brad, for, for, a, for a staffer. Is that right? Yeah, and what makes this story so bizarre is that Patrick Meehan was a member of the House uh, Ethics Committee. He was one of the guys charged with investigating these other guys who have been accused of harassment. And the other thing that makes this so bizarre, as you said, is that he has admitted these feelings for this staffer. If he's trying to make things better, uh, it usually does not help to say that, yes, you and this former staffer were soulmates, uh, which is what he told the Philadelphia Inquirer when he was trying to sort of clear his name, insisting that he would still be running for election this fall, uh, but but absolutely explosive to hear that this member of the House Ethics Committee used taxpayer money, thousands of dollars, to pay off this staffer after a settlement. All right, so this letter, this love letter that he sent to a staffer was released, is that right? Oh, that's right. And it's a handwritten letter, a long letter, in which he says he's developed this affection for this staffer. It all began, apparently, uh, according to some reporting from the New York Times and elsewhere, uh, when this staffer complained that, that she was being pursued by one of her, uh, by a senior aide in the Mian office. So she went to her boss, a guy who's on the House Ethics Committee, who she thinks would look out for her. Well, then he expressed his own interest in her. She ended up uh, getting frustrated. She found another boyfriend, and that apparently Apparently, is when Patrick Meehan uh, really sort of took exception to that. He got frustrated. He was writing her letters. Uh, he was uh, expressing displeasure. And actually, this uh, female staffer started working from home, uh, felt like she was being attacked and retaliated against, and that's when she filed this grievance that she says w was just as bad as the event itself. I mean, the, the letter's unbelievable, right? Not only does he mention, you're my soulmate, but you make me so happy, and my life is now complete because you're, I mean, it, it was a bad love song. Yeah, exactly. And for him now to say, I'm still running for re-election, and uh, uh, yes, we were soulmates. It's one of those things where Mark Sanford from South Carolina would say, dude, just, just tone it down for a second. Stop talking. <laughs> so, so, so she was paid taxpayer money. money. Do, do, do we know how much? We know it was in the thousands of dollar ranges. That's, that's according uh, to people familiar with this. Uh, but they say that wasn't even able to cover her legal fees that she had to retain uh, as she went through this investigation. And remember, uh, several members of the House just in the last few days have finally introduced that much anticipated um, reform bill to the way sexual harassment cases are covered in Congress. Remember, if you're a staffer on Capitol Hill and you feel like your boss or somebody else in your office is being inappropriate with you. You've got to work alongside that person for 60 days while you go through counseling right. and mediation. You, you can't. You have to file it within 180 days. Otherwise, it's like it never existed. And then there's almost no record of what actually happened. Under the new laws, we would know which members were being held accountable, and they would have to pay back the office for all these settlements with their personal funds. Is, is this guy Pat Meehan, is he married? Does he have any children, kids? Married father three. Because he's happily married. And, and that was actually part of his you know, non Denial, denial to the inquirer. He said this was not a sexual relationship, but we were soulmates, which makes a lot of people, I think, scratch their head and go, oh, okay. Um, but, but, and, and so that's this, this bizarre uh, love story here uh, that was apparently one sided. And by the way, Democrats are salivating over his district anyway. And, and so now to hear him say that he's going to run for re election, that, that he's going to be the Republican option in that district, is kind of music to a lot of Democratic ears there outside Philadelphia. Uh, all right. So he stepped down. He's no longer on the House, House Ethics Committee, correct? 